Hey y'all, it's Anna from LA Plans, and today I will be sharing my updated planner stack. So these are all of the agendas that I'm currently using. I did sell my Louis Vuitton GM agenda, and I will explain why later on, um, because I'm working on some things. So I just, um, I sold it, and then I consolidated it into this agenda. I have individual videos that I'll have linked below going into more depth on all of these. I'll also do 2021 setups um, probably in December and go into more depth on that as well. And so with all the changes that I've been making, I just wanted to do one video kind of going over all of these, how they work together, how I use each one. So let's get started. So first agenda is my Louis Vuitton MM agenda. I absolutely love this agenda. It's what got me into rings. Um, this is a personal size planner and this is my daily planner. And so I do use this on the daily basis and I do take this with me on the go still because it fits in my bag and now I can always reference my plans. So in every agenda I have, I have a similar setup where I have extra sticky notes. So I keep my sticky notes in the pockets on the back of planner cards from cloth and paper. And that way I can take them with me on the go and I can use them um, whenever I need them. And then I also add some decoration. I also have cut extra sets of blank tab dividers that I had. And that way I have a sheet protector in front of all of my agendas um, so that my pages don't lift. And so all of my inserts are protected. So I put them in all of them. And then I like that it matches my glass tab dividers and it still looks nice. And then you can still see everything. Um, and then one thing that I have in all my planners as well is an inbox and that's just so I can quickly go in and um, put in notes. So I have those in all of my agendas and I'll just do a quick flip. Again, I have individual setups, but I just wanted to do one video about all of this. Um, I've kind of already started setting this up for 2021. So these monthly inserts from Infinite Lotus in here already. And then I made my own dashboards. Um, with the cloth and paper monthly inserts from 2020. I just double sided taped the months together and created a dashboard and I have that for all of them. And then I just plan on keeping three months of daily inserts in here. So we have October still. Um, now that it's November, I need to update this. And so I will um, tape these together, make my dashboard for next year and then take out these daily inserts. But here's how just been using it just for all of my daily plans and things going on throughout the day checking birthdays and events and so with this agenda i um generally if i'm since i've been working from home i have just been keeping it open on my desk and then if i go anywhere if i do like an office visit i'll take it with so this one is um, definitely more portable because of the size and then here's this current month and then for each month, I have the Today Dashboard in here, and this divides my daily pages with my meal planning inserts. And then I use the cloth and paper Ollie clip to go back and forth between um, the two. That way I can easily um, just use this to go di directly to whatever I need, whether it's meal planning in my grocery list or if it's the day. And so um, that's this current setup. And then back here, I just keep some of my most used stickers in here. So that is this agenda and how I use this. And I think I mentioned before, I love the setup and I really like having a dedicated daily planner. And then we have my main agenda. And so this planner was my finance and home agenda. And then once I sold my GM, I consolidated my main agenda with my finance agenda, and I really like the setup. Um, like I mentioned, I have an inbox in every single one. This one, I have the glass inbox um, from Cloth and Paper, so I don't have that glass divider because I don't need it because this protects all of my inserts. So I just keep this up front. And then I have the sticky notes, like I said, I have in every planner. Um, and then I have an Ollie clip that connects to my current week. And this inbox is primarily for like if 
I have um, a letter or a bill or anything that I just really need to like connect and put in here. And then if I just want to throw like a sticky note on here with something that I need to put in my planner, I'll do that or just anything like that. It's like anything that I need to kind of manage or deal with or put in my planner. And then I have an actual inbox in here as well that I have like long-term projects and things going on that I use and I'll get into that. But this all connects to the current week and that way I can easily um, use the tab to go straight to my week. So generally this is what's on my desk and it's just always like this. And then if whatever I need, I'll just flip to. So behind the schedule is only my weekly inserts. And these are from Cloth and Paper. Lists has my inbox. So this is where I put in, as I mentioned, anything that I'm kind of working on, dealing with things I need to do, things I want to set up, maybe something I need to purchase. Um, and that way it's more organized and I like that it kind of has its own tab. Um, I also have my wish list tracker back here and then just some notes. And then the project section, this is where I keep all my monthly inserts and I'm just using these for time management primarily. And then I just have some notes for different things that I'm working on. I do plan on going back to school and so I mentioned it in the setup video for this one. If that does happen, I will use this as my school section. And after that, I have my finance section. So I consolidated this entire agenda was full of like finance inserts and I consolidated it so that it was more functional. And so it's a good chunk of the planner and it's like the biggest chunk of the planner, but it's also more like precise and I really like it. So um, under this tab, I have six months of my like monthly overview with bills and everything that's on auto pay, everything that I need to manually pay, paydays. Um, I just have a general financial overview, expenses, um, and then my list of expenses every month. And then I have these tabs from Sessa V and the income has all of my like business slash blog expenses and income and trackers. So I have all that in one spot. The expenses tab has just a list of everything that I need to pay. And then I can track when I pay it. Um, it's always nice to just have like one like view of everything. So this is like bills and like housing and utilities and on the back it's like debt. And then I have my savings trackers. So I have my main and secondary savings, emergency savings, and um, joint savings with my boyfriend. And then I have a budget section. Um, I'm going to create like my own dashboard or I'm going to make something. It's not going to be this. I don't really like this, but this is just the general overview of my budget so I can quickly reference it. But next tab after that is lists. This is all of my like subscriptions and recurring like monthly expenses. And then under accounts, this is where I keep all of my like banking um, passwords and information. And then um, also like my iCloud and Apple information, just important passwords. Um, I removed it for this video, but this is where that goes. And that way I can easily reference it. And then I have goals. So I have the five year plan inserts from cloth and paper. And then I just have a miscellaneous section just for anything that I ever wanted to throw back here. And then this is this agenda. And again, this is just like my desk agenda. It doesn't leave the house. So we have this. And then after that, we have the new cloth and paper contour agenda. So this is definitely more decorative. Um, I primarily use this for content planning. Over here, I just have this message notepad from cloth and paper, a planner card from them, some icon stickers. I have that glass divider again in here to protect the dashboards, um, a custom dashboard from Infinite Lotus, the glass inbox, the digital declutter that was in a cloth and paper subscription set, and then in this one, I have the girl gang tabs from cloth and paper. And um, I just love this setup. So the this section is for all of my content planning and I divided it by quarter. So it kind of also goes like seasonally. So like right now we're in Q4 and I just keep all of my like plans and um, ideas in here so I can easily reference it. 
Again, I'll have a link below to a more in-depth video on this and how I use everything. But under the next section, um, I is where I keep all of my travel inserts. So these are from Coffin Paper as well. You can and then this section is for home decor. So I have these wishlist trackers from Coffin Paper and I just realized I need to do that. Um, and I'm using these to track down everything that I want for when I want to redecorate or if I want to kind of update something in the house. So these are primarily be for seasonal decor though, since I do update that frequently. This tab is for collaborations. So I use the project management inserts from Cloth and Paper because they're amazing. I can't share anything else beyond this one, but um, that's all that's in here. This next tab is where my new blog expenses are going to be. So right now they're in my main agenda and they're, for 2021, they will be in here. And then for the last tab, I have my capsule wardrobe and um, I pair them with the magazine dashboards from Cloth and Paper. I think it's just like they go so well together because this is primarily for like seasonal updates and clothing. Yeah, I just have these back here and then I'm gonna do one for my work wardrobe and then my main wardrobe as well and keep them back here. And then I just added the laundry guide. Um, this came in a subscription box and I figured it made sense to put it with the wardrobe. And then I have another tab divider as a page lifter. And again, I just cut off the tab. That is this agenda. I use this agenda maybe once a week, only really when I'm working on my blog. So it depends on what's really going on with blogging. Um, I like to sit down like at the beginning of the month and kind of content plan and go from there. So then all I have to really do is reference this. I, I love it and I love how decorative it is. I also feel like it's different than my other agendas and I really like that too. So that is this agenda. And then the last agenda is for work. And so again, this is a cloth and paper agenda. This is the smooth black caviar agenda. But I just have a few sticky notes up here. I have the meeting notes, um, notepad from cloth and paper. And so I just like trimmed the edge so that it fits in here. And I like having it here so I can easily like write things down during a meeting and use these here. And then again, I have that um, tab divider that I cut off the edge and that way it protects the sheet. This is why I was saying how it lifts and I feel like I can really see it on the camera. And then it also scratches a lot without it protect it, um, especially for work because I do travel with this. Like I do take this with me, but I feel like this would happen regardless without a protector. Um, so these are just really great. <laughs> but we have that. And then I have my inbox. And then I have a table of contents. This is outdated. I need to update it. But I have all of my plans for work. So I have the monthly inserts. And then I have the weekly inserts from Infinite Lotus. And then I also have daily inserts. I can't share too much information because there is a lot of sensitive information um, right now in here, but I use that. And so I manage marketing for six different businesses and I have have switched this up a bit since the setup video. And so now I have a tab for each individual business. These are um, top tab dividers. I just flip them over so I can easily flip to everything. That's one thing that I like to do in all of my agendas is to easily be able to flip to them. So um, as you can see here, I have all of these are the top tabs. These are the only top tabs. I have side tabs and then these are at the bottom. So that way I can always get to wherever I need to go without having to kind of like dig and search for it. So I made these just bottom tabs by flipping them over. And then I just have a tab for each individual business. And then we also have specialties that I do marketing for as well. And I have a different tab for those too. So, um, we have this, so this is pretty much like the business section and then back here. Um, I just have some general notes. This is for campaigns. This is for direct marketing. This is, I use a habit tracker for kind of content planning. The next section is confidential, it's like passwords. And then I just have a blank one. And so this one is just for work. It's dedicated to work, nothing personal goes in here, but 
I only use this during work. So the only time I touch this on the weekend is if I'm like um, printing different things out or like restructuring or archiving inserts or recording videos. But yeah, other than that, that is all of my agendas. That's how I use them all and how I use them together. But yeah, other than that, that is all of my agendas and how I use them all, how they all kind of work together and my planning system. So other than that, that is gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching.